Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Wasserbauer. A lot of my patients ask whether or not they have to shave their whole head in order to go through a hair transplant surgery. And the answer is no. There's some major misinformation on the internet. Some people say that the only way for the hair to grow back is for you to shave your head for the surgery. And you know, there's also some people who tell me that if they shave their head, the hair won't grow back. They know this because all their aunts, uncles, and cousins have told them so, which is crazy to me because if you cut your hair, that grows back, but if you cut it very short and close to the head, that won't grow back. In any case, we do not have to shave your head for your hair transplant. We do sometimes shave the back of your head for an FUE, but we don't shave here and we don't shave here, which leaves you with a kind of funny haircut for a couple of days, about a week and a half. Why do we just do the back? Well, number one, that's the reason that we take the majority of the hair from, but there's another reason. The other reason is that if I shave this hair, this hair grows very slowly relative to this hair. So if I shave both of them, it's going to take about three months until this hair grows back enough that you feel like your face is framed and you look like yourself again. Sometimes I've let patients talk me into shaving the whole head. And for the next three months, they're panicking, thinking something was done here that's causing it to not grow back. Nothing is causing it to not grow back. It just takes a lot longer because this hair is actually physically different than this hair. This hair is permanent and it grows really fast relative to this. Now, the reason we don't shave the top, this is always a relief to my female and my transitioning patients. The reason we don't shave the top is because in order to make it look natural, you need to see the flow of the hair. You wanna see what the angle is to the scalp, how the hair's curl works. And if you have it really short, it just doesn't work to be able to see what the length shows you. So we don't shave the top of the head. I have this argument consistently with some other hair surgeon friends of mine who always shave the top of the head and they know that I think they're wrong. However, it's a lot a matter of training for the individual surgeon. If an individual surgeon is feeling a little on the lazy side, they're just gonna shave your head. But it's a lot harder for the patient to recover from that. It really takes much longer and is way more emotionally impactful for their recovery. And so we do not shave your head, okay? If you want no shave on your head, you can always do the linear surgery. This is a much maligned technique, but it's really excellent for getting the most hair, having the highest survival of your hair, and camouflaging your hair surgery immediately after the surgery. So you should look into that as well. Not a lot of practitioners still do it. We are one of the few. We're very highly trained in it, and the results come out beautifully. Mwah. Because the hair transplant to the front is exactly the same. A lot of people conceive that you're just taking a strip of hair and moving it and putting a strip of hair there. That is not what happens. The hair is moved individually the same way it is with an FUE procedure. The only difference is the shape of the scar at the back. So if you're interested in not having your head shaved, and really you should be, because that's the best way for you to camouflage and get through this process as easily, as comfortably, and as dignified a way as possible, you should definitely come and talk to us about your options. You do not have to shave your hair. I hope that helps.